Hello lovelies, it's she here from Golden Thread Tarot. I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance as always. Okay, my sweets? And as you can tell by the title of the video, we're doing something a little bit different. I thought I might uh, cut up the collective into kings and queens of each suit. So today, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a message for a collective that identifies themselves as the king or queen of cups, okay? For your oracle card, we're going to be pulling from the whispers of the ocean, and then we're going to have the mermaid tarot, okay? So, you can identify with the king or queen of cups because it's your sign, because it's your one of your signs in your major houses, or you can identify it because of the attributes of the king or queen of cups, okay? You could be in your feelings, you could be in love, you could be wondering about love, you could be a lot of things. Like I just said, use your intuition and let it speak to you as it needs to, okay? I have something already wanting to show itself here, okay? So I'm just going to mention these, but then, oh yeah, I'm going to mention this uh, on the back too, because I saw it several times when I cut, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the message spirits, like, let's go, let's go. So, we got number 37, look beyond the surface. Avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. Focus on the underlying motivation, cause, or beauty in the situation. Seek ways to bring depth to your world. So, Spirit wants you to dive a little bit deeper. I'm definitely feeling a lot of hermit energy here. Like, there's a reason that you're feeling the emotions that you're feeling right now. So, just kind of allow yourself to kind of feel your way through it. Number 41, convey your meaning. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. Yeah. Okay. So you have the whale and the eel. Yeah, I'm really feeling, well, I'm feeling a lot of protective energy out of this out of this eel energy. So I'm feeling kind of, see how like the eel is kind of like wrapped around the coral, like around its home, like it's protecting itself. So you could feel like you're kind of protecting yourself by not diving really deep in or maybe in the past you were taught or you felt like you had to close down or you had to hide how you really felt about things for kind of protection protection from yourself or protection for your psyche something like that okay we're going really deep king queen of cups okay y'all know how it is y'all know what it is okay i'm hearing scorpio energy really really loudly okay so the death card might come out and i'm just you know Spirit is saying, don't be a, don't be, don't be a scared. Don't be scared to look beyond the surface to really allow yourself to dive down really deep. Get in touch with your emotions. Get in touch with why you feel the way that you really do right now, and just allow that to flow with energy. Okay, just allow that to flow. So, on the back of the deck right here, we have number fifteen, which is kind of reminding me of the Devil card a little bit. You know, number fifteen, adrift in shallow water. Take deep, take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. So spirit is telling you, is asking you to have a lot of gratitude. You might feel kind of like locked up right now, but spirit is saying like rest your body, rest your weary head is what I'm hearing because victory is assured for you, okay? And with this ace of pentacles right here, like spirit has a gift waiting for you, okay? Spirit has a gift coming for you. What they want you to do right now is just relax and allow yourself to be in this hermit mode where you can really go inside. Um, spirit is saying that you're going to find safety. You're going to find safety. It's coming to you. Okay. You might be feeling like spirit is reaching out to you right now. I'm not really, really identifying with the five of pentacles, but just more with the imagery right here on the card, right? Um, you might feel like spirit is... You might not notice all the some of the blessings that spirit really has for you because your head might be down. You might be thinking a little bit too much about what you don't have. So spirit is saying if you're concentrating on what you don't have, that's what's going to grow. But <laughs> seven of pentacles. But if you keep your head down and you really are setting your intentions on what you really want to grow, you're just going to have to have patience because what you want to grow is going to take time and it's going to take energy from you putting into changing your mindset or changing how you respond or changing um i'm getting like a really big like kind of like tower with hierophant energy kind of like changing your principles changing a mindset a thought process about this okay because okay yeah because ace of cups you have a brand new passionate like beginning coming for you and you are surrounded by love and light and abundance and god Whoa, Allah. <laughs> I was trying to say spirit, but God specifically. So somebody really is coming out really strongly saying, you know, saying God is here for you. God is here for you. They are here to 
assist you. King of Pentacles, okay? Um, I feel like the gift that you are being given is a very stable, sturdy kind of energy coming into your life. Now, for some of you, this could be a person. For some of you, it could be... It could be financial specifically, but I'm definitely feeling that for some of you, it definitely is a person because the two of cups is on the back. It's this really stable, sturdy, like you can rely on me energy. And spirit wants you to like tune in to really aligning with that, aligning with this king of pentacles energy. Whether you identify with that within yourself or you identify that, I'm hearing four of wands, or you identify that within other people. Six of pentacles. You need to see both. Yeah, six of pentacles, right? It needs to be an equal energy exchange. Like, if this is, is this is really what you want, if this is the type of person that you want to align yourself to or you want to align yourself with, then um, embody that energy, right? Embody that energy. And embody, well, Spirit wants to say, um, embody, embody the energy that you would feel when you were with this person. If that makes sense. If you guys understand what I'm saying. You know, like, uh, it, it's kind of like when you, when you hear people say, you know, oh, act as if you already have it kind of energy. So give and take care of yourself like you, like this person would. Like you would want this person to take care of you or want to want this person to be there for you or support you or, you know, spend time with you five of swords and i just had a really high loud pitch in my um my left ear i feel like someone feels left out with this five of swords energy right here somebody is spending time comparing themselves to other people and, you know, to other people that maybe you feel like are further along or that have things or that have, you know, a partner or have more, st more stable energy. And it's kind of this energy of while everybody else seems like they're playing and having a good time, you're feeling like hurt or you're feeling hey. cut. For some of you guys, you might feel like somebody is... Because I just had to edit out a cat fight. <laughs> I was going to tell you guys. I'm going to edit out the sounds. But yeah, I feel like you feel like somebody could have been casting some illusions around you. Um, I really feel like it's... I feel like some of you might have felt cut, right? You might have felt like... There's the death card. Okay. There's that Scorpio energy. Some of you might have felt really cut by words or by what somebody said. King of Swords. Wow. Somebody being really icy. Oh, and look at that. The Four of Wands. I feel like some of you might have really felt like you've been battling. Battling um, an energy or battling a person. It's giving me a very stubborn energy out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, Queen of Wands. This person could be a fire sign, or they could just be very passionate, very determined. Yeah, Eight of Wands. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Some of y'all might have felt definitely like some energy has really been. You might have felt like it was necessary for you to judge yourself because you dealt with a lot of uh, fighting or conflict or judgment in your life in the past. Um, you might have felt very in conflict with other people around you. you or you might have very recently felt very spirit wants you to drop this conflict they want you to drop it they're like hey you see you got hurt like can you just stop playing with the swords and um it's also a feeling here of feeling like like i was trying to say before like everybody else Everybody else seems to just be having fun playing with the swords and you got you got hurt by it. Now this could be this could be love, this could be I'm also hearing speaking your truth, being who you are. But spirit here. Yeah, okay, I was just about to say spirit is here. Okay. See the spirit there, like patting your head, like we know that you got hurt. It's okay. We're here to protect you. King of swords. We understand that you might have dealt with some very 
especially with a masculine energy, this person doesn't have to identify as being a man, but it's a very strong masculine energy. And I'm being so drawn here to how this person, because I know this is a mermaid, so they're under the water, but it's like, it, it looks like they're above the water, or they are kind of like halfway above the water, halfway under the water. Um, so this could be, this could be a person that's on a cusp. I just heard that. But also, it's just like reminding me of this very like wind, like the, you see the kind of like frozen air where it looks like kind of coming or bubbles coming out of their mouth, whichever one it is. I, I It's kind of giving this me this kind of very frosty, like somebody wasn't, you wanted somebody to be there for you to be supportive, kind and loving, perhaps in the past, whether or not this is a masculine energy, like in love or just in general, you wanted somebody to be very supportive and kind to you. And they really weren't, you felt like you really weren't getting what you put into things in the past. And you felt like instead you got this person that was in their head, not in their heart, not in their emotions. Um, maybe even kind of showing you the cold shoulder kind of energy instead of showing you the more kind and supportive and loving and generous side of your of this person. Also, I, yeah, I do also want to point out here that in that Two of Swords, it was a blonde-headed man and then a brown-headed man. And here we have the two men here. So it's kind of like a juxtaposition between what you really want and what you actually either have coming into your life or what you have seen in, in your life and had in the past. Yeah, seven of cups and you might feel really confused. For some of you, you might feel like you have a choice. Like, a, like with that two of two of swords, it's like a choice um, between a king of swords and a king of pentacles. Seven of wands. And you're feeling kind of like attached. You're feeling kind of like out of place or feeling like out of the water. Or feeling like out of your natural environment. Make sure you're drinking water. I'm hearing my, I'm hearing my dog down there really drink water. Page of swords. Yeah, that's a message for you. Make sure you're drinking enough water. What is it? Uh, they want to specifically, they want me to count out seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, they're kind of sticking together. Oh my gosh, number 28. Seeing both sides. Take a step back and try looking for, try looking at this from a different perspective. Oh, look, and it's two sharks swimming around each other. Look at that. And I'm here like the, when it's like the hammerhead sharks. I'm here like hammering it out. Like, yeah, total submersion. Don't be afraid to totally submerge yourself in a project, interest, or goal. Give it 100% of your energy, and you may find that your life has been lacking, or you might have you might find what your life has been lacking. So yeah, go inside. So if you're feeling like torn, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling like kind of fed up with what's going on here, like I'm not getting what I really want. Spirit is saying, take a look inside. This is not a read. Spirit's not trying to read you. It's just kind of like, you know, Spirit's not trying to try to be like, it's your fault or anything like that, you know. So the Spirit is just being like, take a look, take a look inside. Go go inside instead of ask, you know, go inside and uh, don't be scared to kind of go inside and ponder. Yeah, because again, ugh, the devil. Right? You're kind of keeping yourself trapped in this cage here of a of like a like in your mindset. Four of Pentacles. They're telling me to read from the book. Read this Four of Pentacles from the book. Because I liked the reading. I remember I've read it before. And it's such it's a little bit deeper than I thought. Um it's, it's not deeper than I thought. It's a little different than usual, sorry. Um, but I remember really liking. I opened right up to the cups energy, so that's funny. And the three of swords, too. Uh -huh. Sorry, it's taking me a second. Here we go. The Four of Pentacles has a lot has a lot to teach you about getting back in touch with the moment. You may you may have placed yourself in a state of paralysis or disengagement, but this is not exactly what you need right now. Instead, follow allow yourself to reconnect with the ordinary everyday experience of life. That keeps happening. That keeps coming up like just like dive into a project and stop worrying and just kind of get into 
you know, reflect on how you communicate with yourself, with yourself and with others. Kind of this going inside energy. Reconnect with your inner peace. I noticed the small things. It just thundered. Do you ever find yourself getting bored with your life? I know the feeling sitting here on my rock. All I can bring myself to care about is my hair, stroking it one full brush stroke at a time, sitting, brushing, and thinking of nothing or no one. There is something to be said for allowing ourselves to lean in and get comfortable with boredom. For between two brush, brush strokes, my mind clears and all I have is this moment. This moment, the one where there is nothing but me, the sound of the waterfall, and the feel of each brush stroke moving through my hair. Yeah. So if you're feeling bored, if you're kind of feeling like disinterested, if you're like, oh, re-engage with yourself, disengage with this exterior kind of energy here and re-engage with yourself, re-engage with what you do want. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but let's <laughs> pick up the thunder. I mean, that's a hundred percent. They're like, yes. Okay. Re-engage. Re-engage with yourself. That's where this con that's where this confusion energy is coming from. Some of the some of the emotions that you're feeling right now are not yours. They're 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 the emotions of other people that you're that you're connecting to. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe even some people some people in your family. You know, it could be their mindsets. It could be their messages. It could be excuse me their energy. So it's time to realign with your own energy. Six of Wands, exactly. It's time to find your own. I'm also getting it's time to shine, like it's time to stand in your own space, in your own spot. I'm feeling like Spirit right now is really asking you to, yes, be, <laughs> yes, be a King of Cups, okay? Stay yourself, but also strength. It's like, It's kind of like you're you're supposed to be embodying, embodying an empress or an emperor. So make sure that you're not lingering in this king or queen of cups for too long. Make sure that it doesn't hold you back. Make sure that it doesn't make you also don't make sure that you're not stifling your feelings and trapping yourself by th saying that you need to be strong and you can't show weakness or you can't show how you really feel about things. And others of you, for others of you, Okay, so Spirit said, let it resonate as it, as it does for you. You know if you're the type of person that usually shuts down and doesn't talk, or if you're the type of person that fights for connections and talks, maybe that way over shares or way over talks. Or if you do a little bit of both, like Spirit is saying, it's time to find balance in that. Okay? This could definitely, Ten of Pentacles, do with, a fa with family. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> This is also Ten of Pentacles about setting up a long-term legacy. Because see all the like older, it's like older and then younger. I'm also getting like your ancestors are here shining this light on you. See that light shining from above. Down to heal this. You definitely could identify with being like a light worker. Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was kind of this energy of having to lay to rest and then like re-rising. Re-rising afterwards, after you, uh, re-rising from an ego death, going through an ego death right now, all that could be happening. Yes, thank you, because I was going to say that spirit wants you to be reborn, a queen of wands. And this is, in this deck, this is Pele, right? They want you to flow with it. They want you to understand that destruction and things coming to an end is a natural part of the flow of time. It's a natural... <laughs> yes. Yes. Tower. With the Knight of Wands. Things have been happening around you that keep you on your feet. To keep you on your feet and keep you focused. And keep you, like, not too stagnant. Not allowing yourself to stand too stagnant. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold on, Spirit wants me to open up the window. 
Okay. Yeah, de definitely. Spirit wanted me to bring a little fire energy into this, okay? So, this split goddess and gossip. You might have dealt with some um, talk. The way you're talking to yourself, the way other people are talking to you, the way you didn't have boundaries up in the past and you allowed other people to treat you or talk to you, or if you accepted crumbs in the past, very saying, is so, that's so dead now. It's so time for that to end. Okay, because, wow. Period. Companion. Loyal. Loyal and unselfless. That's the two words that are standing out to me really strongly now. Companion. Wow, there's a really strong companion energy coming in for you. A fool. Yeah, it's time for a brand new beginning. Wow. Scribe. Journal about it. Yeah. Journal about it. Script about it. Manifest it in. However you're doing. You've been manifesting it in, that, right? That's why you've been here. Right? With the Ace of Wands calling that, fire, that kind of energy in. Preserving knowledge and information. Yeah. This is also about you breaking these toxic generational mentalities and subscribing to something new, to pass down something different. It's really, it's really important that this change happens in your family line. I really hope you guys can hear all this thunder, because I promise I'm not lying about it, yeah. Father and thief. Oh, okay. So we're getting deep, deep with you guys. Some of you might you know, be dealing with some really negative energies around the masculine examples or your father figures that you've had in your life, okay, masculine, okay, not masculine, sorry, alchemist, this is the magician energy with the king energy underneath it, the beggar king, the beggar king kind of energy maybe, or the burger king, oh my god, the burger king, comment down below if you guys watch Steve's Love Terror too. okay, like the burger king, no, not the burger king, no, Spirit. But anyway, um, also, I, I definitely feel like that's been in the past. I feel like in the past, like I said, with the servant energy, I feel like, yeah, with the storyteller, in the past, you have really submitted yourself to people or tried to give this love energy to people that kind of all they had was this to give. All they had was the sword to give. All they had was like this chilly, you know, chilliness to give, which confuses you because you're like, oh, my energy is so pure and so loving, so beautiful. I'm not perfect, but... You know, I have so much love to give. Why can't I get a companion? Or why Why does everyone that I seem to be coming up with, you know, pay attention to the script. Pay attention to how you're talking about yourself. Pay attention to how you're talking about, you know, the people in your life. Father, I'm telling y'all, addicts, some of y'all might have dealt with a, with a father or some of y'all with a father that had substance abuse issues, okay? Or you could be kind of addicted to chasing after the father kind of figure in your life. This thunder is starting to feel like a read, okay? Uh, you might have you might have had issues with a father figure in your life, and you might have been kind of addicted to chasing after this kind of energy, this kind of unavailable, emotionally frozen kind of energy. Okay? Ooh, I'm feeling my throat chakra. That's really... I'm sorry. I'm not trying to trigger you, but advocate, visionary, and Sumerian, okay? It's not Sumerian. That might have something to do with it, Sumerian. That might, but Samaritan. That's, but I'm telling y'all, that had, with this visionary energy and this advocate energy, inspires you to put compassion into action. Yeah, I feel like Spirit is really telling you that you have a lot to give to the world, that you have a lot of things that you have experienced. So start writing it down. Start, you know, putting it into work. Start using what you've already learned from the past experiences to really help improve your life and improve your future you know really put that into work and say oh when you when you see those red flags take those red flags and instead of just turning it into pain or turning it into hurt or turning it into things that like hold you back turn it into like the well i know i don't like this so put that on the no go this crosses my boundary list and keep it pushing and if somebody crosses that boundary let them know the boundaries there if they if they cross it again or they don't respect your boundaries keep it pushing okay hello <sighs> Hello, visionary advocate and the Samaritan came out again. You got We said, hold up. I pulled this. Hold up. I pulled this. Okay. 
Capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regards for personal gain. Yeah. So even if you don't see your person in front of you, even if you have some people in your life that aren't treating that aren't treating you the way that you want to be treated, don't deal with it. Be your own advocate. Stand up for yourself. Be your own Samaritan. Look how it's like this twin. Like that's you. That's you saving yourself. Stand up for yourself. Save yourself and get rid of these people in your life. <laughs> And I know that that's easier said than done because some of these people can be friends, they can be family, they can be our own children, okay? Oh my God, and that energy came right back out. Are you joking? Is this advocate? Oh my God, you guys! Spirit is having me do this on purpose, okay? Because you guys, child divine, okay? You guys are very connected to spirit, to your spirit guides. And they are saying... That we are putting a lot of effort into your life and we are trying to teach you to stand up for yourself. You are seeing what you need to do and you need to save yourself and be this advocate for yourself. I don't even remember putting those putting those cards back in because every single time they come out, I was like, okay, they're meant to be out. And then without thinking it, I would just put it back into the deck and it would come right back out. So I'm feeling like that's what the kind of energy it is that Spirit is saying you're dealing with right now. It's kind of like, oh, I see the red flags and then you go into the next person. It's like, it's like you forget the red flags because you get very wound up in this being in love with the feeling of being in love with somebody. And Spirit is saying that it's time that not not to not enjoy the feeling of being in love, but not so much that you ignore the red flags or you make excuses for people, right? Your boundaries are your boundaries. Don't let people cross those. If people aren't giving you what you need, do what's necessary. Oh, no. Okay, they want to. They want to switch desks. Okay, they want me to read rebel. Okay. Rejects rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Yeah, don't let somebody peer pressure you into getting into a relationship. Some of you in the past might kind of let people bully you or let people kind of push you into victim okay kind of push you into that mentality maybe you've had a victim mentality in the past because of things that you've gone through in the past okay uh people stealing or thieving taking your heart seeing those people taking your heart and not really paying attention to it you know maybe even talking about it laughing about it afterwards all of those things um your justice is trying to come out now okay and what the justice is is you learning from the past to not deal with the shit that you used to deal with not deal with people that treat you like that anymore you see the red flags you know you know what it means stop playing around with it stop playing around with it nine of pentacles that's when you can get what you really deserve nine, nine of cups you're here nine of pentacles nine of cups okay you're here in this independence you're here in this wish fulfillment but you're spending your time focusing on what was wrong like no queen of cups be in your queen of cups be in your king of cups it's fine you are who you are but this is definitely king of cups queen of cups this where king of cups queen of cups and I feel like that's the energy that you want. Two of Pentacles. It's time to make a, you know, to balance this out. This Nine of Pentacles is giving me a big, big like Queen of Pentacles energy too as well. I'm still hearing that nine, nine, nine energy. Ten of cups in reverse though. And six of cups, six of swords, sorry, six is not six of cups, six of swords in reverse. So you're not, you're refusing to walk away from a situation that is not giving you the emotional fulfillment that you want. It's like you're taking second best. Instead of taking a ten of pentacles and a ten of cups, it's like nine of pentacles is good enough, I guess. But it's not, it's not like, I don't want to sound, I don't want, you know, no, it's, it's kind of like an energy of, you know, that you deserve all of it, or you know that you deserve, stop, stop being like, well, you know, it's okay, and that, but that one pinnacle, or that one cut that you're, that you're like, it's okay without that, is like them respecting you, or they're showing up, or them being there for you, this is a big cup, it's, it's a big cup, so instead, get your wish fulfillment, 
Give yourself your wish fulfillment. Get what you need. You're so close. But ten, ten of Wands, you're carrying too much on your on your own back. Queen of Swords. You need to have better boundaries with other people in your life. And you probably get tired of Spirit saying that. But it is true. Four of Swords. Again, here where we started. Four of Swords. You need to rest. You need to rejuvenate. You've been dealing with a lot of towers in your life. You've been dealing with a lot of, of crap that you're cutting out. Spirit is giving you a way out. Here's that five of pentacles that we started with. Remember I saying spirit is giving you something? Right? The chariot. Spirit is giving you a way out. Spirit is giving you, like, look. Look, when you see they do this or you see they do that, get away. That's me trying to tell you. And if they've taken some people in your, away from you in your life, it's probably because... Though this might, might be triggering, I'm not trying to trigger some people. Some people are being taken away from your life because you were better without them. And it might be hard for you to see that right now, Spirit is saying. It might be hard for you to see that right now, or it might have been really hard for you to see that in the past. But, okay. Okay. I want to close this out with one one last card here from the Whispers of the Ocean. What's one last final message here, okay, for this King and Queen of Cups, okay? It's a message that you don't really want to hear, I feel like. There we go. Yeah. Or it's a message you've already been given, but you but you're kind of ignoring it, or you have been ignoring it in the past. Is what you're saying. There might be two cards come out. Spirit saying, well, we'll finish up the reading with whatever whatever comes out. Wow, that's a a whole. Okay. This. number 17 safe and surrounded by love is that not just what we were talking about safe and surrounded by love that's what you're manifesting concentrate on that concentrate that you feel safe don't concentrate on yes it is important to allow these emotions to come up so that you can address them but release them do what you need to do to release them you know uh, have the follow through for, through the rest of it you know you're bringing it up so find these responsible ways to release it whether or not it's you know give, giving to your inner child giving that giving yourself that time away or that time to relax or that time to reground staying grounded spending time with friends or family or loved ones doing things that you love you know um whether or not it's taking those spiritual baths you know getting that reiki healing session getting that massage going like i said going on that vacation go you know going and doing and doing things that really make you happy and concentrating on that okay concentrate on 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 manifesting that you are safe and you are surrounded by love keep your heart open and know you are being protected listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you exactly and number 47 connect to source exactly go within to discover what needs to be done crap <laughs> Create the shift required to attract what you want. Ooh, we I love it when spirit puts a beautiful little bow on everything like that. Like, okay, stop getting distracted with all the BS and just go inside and create the reality that you want. Get in this Queen of Wands energy too. Find that balance between the two. Okay, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, whatever strikes you. Yeah. Get into this flow energy, into this creation energy, because it's serious. It's so serious right now. <sighs> yes, yes. <laughs> you are being so safe and protected right now, so concentrate on what you do want to come into your life, and it's just going to really swiftly come into your life. Believe. Spirit is saying believe. Yeah. Rediscover your zeal. Yeah, get out there and rediscover your zeal. Life is better together. Life is better together. Life is... Let it, life is better when you're not, when you're not amble with contentment. Just go and drift with the flow, All right? Just grow, just grow, go, drift with the flow. Stay, being patient doesn't mean staying stagnant, okay? So 
go drift with the flow. Find your stability out there. Femme fatale. Find that sexy energy inside of you. Okay? I heard bringing sexy back. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for being here with me today, King and Queen of Cups. I hope this gave you the love, light, and clarity that you needed for your situation. Okay? I really appreciate you guys as always. All right? Thank you very, very much. Uh, check out the links in the description box down below as well as... Um, down below is my contact information if you want a personal reading from me if you're interested in that thank you to everyone who donates thank you to everyone who purchases a deck thank you to everyone who's just here liking or being in the video if you are happy with this or just let me know how you feel about it okay do you like me doing this kind of where we split up the collective let me know down in the comment section down below and if there's anything about a particular subject or a particular uh reading that you'd be interested in please let me know okay thank you guys so much for being here with me today again and i will see you lovelies in the next one bye